they've just been really proud, I suppose, as well, of what they've created. I think people will be surprised to see what they've been doing. Looking at this picture, like, it's just a picture. But then when we think about all the things in art that we can do with it, it's really crazy how it can just, the picture, come to life. I think art is quite important because it lets your brain work. Even if people aren't that good at art, they'll get better. This group and with three other schools have been working over the past few weeks to create the giant puppets and the theme and the story and all the characters for the parade. Using memory and imagination as tools for creating other worlds. Our experiments were in large scale. A phenomenon is called pareidolia. It's this tendency to see faces in different things. We looked at the piece of art that we'd made and we ended up with some characters and a world that we drew out of them with this process. We're going to be completing all these characters that we've made and it helps sometimes to really be behind your character to know what their story is. Working with schools has been great because how each of them matters in the making process and I think that was like really important in the way that we created the stories that really everyone had a voice and that nobody owned an individual character. All the ideas were collective. The eyes are kind of going here, is it? You're doing a face then here, is it? And then the hair we were thinking, modeling balloons. So on the day, we're gonna blow loads of them up and stick them on the top. And I think those little blue dots, they were the ears. Do you see these ones? Yeah, we need to make them bigger, maybe. You can make them bigger, yeah. Working on four different big things at the same time, and I wasn't expecting to get that much done in the time we've had, but like we've done really well. It's good to be creative and to use your imagination. Everything we've done, it's like from our minds, you know? so important about what we do is that it teaches people to work together, to collaborate, to engage with each other. So what shapes do we need? So how many balloons do we need? We've got two, three, and this is his hat up here, I think. He looks a little bit like a, a hippopotamus. Like you think, okay, right now it's just a sketch, but then you build, you join things together, a lot of teamwork and it becomes a character. That's a natural thing. You know what you could do is get a chair and then you can zip tie the top. What do you think? But here, Mia is putting the cable tie on and you just hold this one down. And it gave children an opportunity to take part and collaborate and work as a team and you can see little groups forming depending on what they're making and really lovely to see. We've learned lots of different art techniques like paper mache, and get to do lots of creative stuff like painting and colouring and making masks and it's very fun. We can see here we've got Jess Head and the jukebox and I think they're ready to go for the next stage. We are going to paper them all today. Even for them, some of the even the sillier ideas have never been knocked, they've been taken and actually developed. And they've been just so happy with that to see their little ideas come into something like this. On the picture that you drew, you drew a spiral like this and it's like hypnotising. The music is hypnotising everybody. If you paint white and then you paint a spiral of whatever colour you like, all the way from the outside to the inside. I really enjoyed making a really big jukebox so when we're in the parade everyone can see it and everyone will hear it. It's really cool. It's kind of weird for now. Right now it's kind of weird, yeah. We just put this structure on and then we're going to paper mache together. So this is just to give it like a bit of support and this is going to be a bean king. I wouldn't have come up with this stuff. We're only there to guide them through it and show them how with techniques, but really it's all coming from them. Once everyone's familiar with the tools and the materials and the processes, you can just get them to do things by themselves in a little way.
he actually did. Like, I mean, that's some serious teamwork, you know, that's brilliant. I enjoyed the most painting and the paper mache. Paper mache. I never knew how to do that. Creativity is important because you have to keep your focus and like don't give up on it. More so the children who were not artsy really shun in this whole thing because it wasn't one set piece. Nothing had to be a particular way. It was their own design they came up with and then they really threw themselves into it. It's wonderful that Croonan Oak runs alongside the Arts Festival. Because it gives families from all sorts of background the ability to come together and make stuff and then showcase that in the community. My favourite part about the parade was getting to push the hard work you've done over the weeks. My favourite part was to show my friends and family how hard we've worked and how good it turned out. It's a testament to them really that they've got this far and they've produced all that they've produced. They're delighted with it and I'm delighted for them that they're so happy. To be the, the grand finale of a project, of a whole festival, that's an honour really and it's something that you're not going to forget quickly. Got your hands on any?